And hey guys, welcome back to the channel, back with the Wandering Mariner. It is Tuesday, March 26th, and we are in the home office this evening. Tonight's topic is about getting your transportation work identification card. One of these bad boys. And why do you need a Twic card? So if you are thinking about becoming a merchant mariner, or you need it for truck driving, or you want to work at a port, or you're going to go work for the TSA. Having your transportation work ID card is essential because what that allows you to do is that allows you to get into secure spaces that require clearance. Now, it's not necessarily like a military clearance. That's something totally different. But what this is, it's just a background check of you to make sure that you're not a felon, that you didn't have a criminal record, that you're here legally, and that you are who you are and you have access to these certain areas that need these type of credentials. So the steps on getting your TWIC card and you just go to www.tsa.gov and slash TWIC. And in there for me, I had to go here just today. Why? Because my credentials are getting ready to expire and I have to get all my documents together. And this is what I like to call the five-year hustle for mariners. Every five years, we got to go through all this rigmarole and get all of our documents renewed and medical exams and just the kick caboodle. But this is step one. So getting this before you apply for your merchant marine credentials and everything else, because if you don't get this, it's all futile anyways. So once you go to the TSA's website, they are going to talk to you about what to bring, how to do it, how to enroll, and you can actually do this in person or online. So a lot of times they want you to go into a center to do your fingerprints because if it's your original TSA or TWIC card, you're going to have to do your fingerprints and take a photo. But if you've already done that, you can do it auto renewal right online. You do not have to go back to the TWIC center. So I thought this was very awesome and very easy to go through this process. Uh, so when you renew your TWIC document, you have to check the expiration date. If you want, are currently sailing, you want to get this done at least 30 days prior to when it expires so that you can have a fresh one <laughs> before your documents expire. Me, myself, I let them expire already, but they haven't been over a year, so it was very easy. They still had my record in the database. So like I said, you can do it online or you can do it in person at a Twick Enrollment Center. And on the website, it gives you the list of all of them. Required documentation, they're gonna want some kind of identification, Maybe a passport, that's a really good one. Something that proves that you have U.S. citizenship, so your birth certificate. So if you don't have your birth certificate and an ID, you might have to do a little legwork to get those things together. Um, once you go to the center for the initial, they're going to do your fingerprints and photograph. If it's online, it's just a renewal. And the payment is about 125 bucks. They vary in price depending on what you're applying your TWIC for. So it said 125, but they only charged me 117 because it was for my Mariners. And it's a renewal, so I have no idea why it was less, but it was. So that's good on me, right? And then after you submit it, uh, it usually takes about a month and it will be delivered to you by mail. And the only stipulation that I realized for the online, they said, hey, if you're getting this for your Merchant Marine credentials, and you change your mind and you don't go get your credentials, you need to return this TWIC card. And, you know, that's an honor system thing. And I'm an honorable person, so I would do that if I don't get my credentials. But I am in the process of renewing the credentials. And why am I doing that? Because my master plan <laughs> is to move to the Philippines. And... Uh, in October, me and the wife, we are moving. We've been building a house there for three years. We're going to snowbird the first year or two and kind of go there during the winter time because Wisconsin in the winter suck. But 
and I'm going to do side hustles when I'm back here, but having your credentials, this is a key to get a job at any time. Once you get your credentials in hand, if you want to go work for Military Sealift Command or SIU or SUP, there's opportunity out there. And being out of the country and being able to come back, I'm thinking that maybe not hanging up, put the sea bag away just quite yet because I might want to come back and, and do some time on ships. And if I stay current with the union, I could come back when I want to come back. So that is another advantageous part of being a mariner. So if you guys are thinking that you want to get into the Merchant Marine or sail with Military Sealift Command or SIU, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try to do as much uh video guidelines of how everything works over the next six months before I bug out to go to the Philippines. So make sure you like and sub and your questions are going to drive a lot of the topics that I'm going to be giving videos about because I want to make sure that I'm being all encompassing for you guys to answer your questions. So hopefully you get some value out of this. Make sure you like, subscribe and subscribe.